much. Please put your hands together for Mike Goldman, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. G'day, mate. How are you? How are you? Good, good, good. Oh, this is great. Good How good is this? I feel like I'm on a boat on this set. Yeah, it is. Right I need not. some quells. I don't get seasick. You're like Captain right. Stubing up here on your boat, sailing through <laughs> Sydney. And, and what's, this? what's down here? What's that? Louisville Arena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's and pronounced you, Louisville, uh, not oh, Louisville. You got two moons. Yeah, yeah. It's futuristic. Well, it's, 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 it's done, it was actually done by a guy called Peter at Creative Juice. I said, can you come up with a backdrop that's a bit futuristic? Um, the, the first one, the first model he did was a bit too terrorist. Oh, really? In what way? Uh, the opera house was on fire and things like that. And, <laughs> I sort of went, well, I think it'd be a bit harsh. So we've gone, we've gone a bit down and calm and, you know, and, and Jeff from Tint Wizard printed it out and said, there you go, have that. A few plugs right. there, Jeff from Tint Wizard. That's right. Yeah, can you actually, you've got the voice for it though, you could do it, couldn't you? Tonight's show brought to you by Jeff from Tint Wizard <laughs> and, <laughs> and Pete from Creative Juice. As you can see, his Creative Juice is all over the backboard. <laughs> So that's what I like about your voice, because every time I hear, I, you know, sometimes, you know, you've got the TV on in the background at home and all of a sudden your voice just comes out. Really? Comes out of the box. You're going to stop putting that video on we made. <laughs> Big Brother days are finished, hey? Yeah, you just good? bring me here to rub that in? <laughs> this is crap. I knew I shouldn't have come. <laughs> yeah. But a lot, a lot of people have gone on to do a lot of things. I mean, yeah, um, from, exactly. from that show. And a lot of people have just disappeared. Thank you very much. It's no, not you. No, no, no. I meant... No, I meant... No, no, fair enough. Oh, I meant the con contestants. I know I've got to put studies on players? to look at my diary at the moment. And well, you, you know I'm doing a denture commercial. I have to knock my teeth out first. Do, do you need a hand with that? <laughs> no. No, no, thank you. <laughs> He was joking. Boy, man, it looked like, yeah, they were touchy, touchy. Now, I, I know one of your first jobs, which used to be a hairdresser, is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a place in Double Bay called Hair Force. I lasted two days. Yeah? What, yeah. what, you had to actually physically do proper hair or just clip it? No, they left, they left me alone in, in the salon and all I was doing was sweeping the floor and washing the towels and this old lady came in and she wanted her, her hair washed and blow dried and I, I, I thought, yeah, I can, I can do that. I tried ringing the boss, he couldn't come in to do it, so I did it. And then she said, can you just cut a little bit off the top? I said, look, I'm not qualified. But I, I did, I cut a little bit off the top. Actually, probably a little bit too much. I made her bald. But how old was she, this woman? Oh, I reckon she would have been at least 80 or 90. You've worked on radio for a while, yeah. and we used to do those segments, and um, I know a lot of radio stations, the DJs always say this, we're playing more music and less talk. Yeah, if I work on radio, again, I'm going to change my name to Les Talk. Yeah? Hey, I'm Les Talk. Well, everyone says your name on all the stations. But they're actually talking when they say it, that's the thing. Yeah, that's true. See, if they want to play more music, less talk, don't say that. Just play more music. <laughs> that's true. I never thought of that. See? That'll work. Now, you play guitar too, don't you? Yeah. Are you in a band? Because you look like you. You're the type of guy that dresses like you should be in a band. Really? Yeah. Maybe I, I, I'm just a wannabe rock star. I was um, in a band for a couple of years, oh, about 10 years ago. We started out, we were really, really crap. Like a boot off stage. At one stage I thought I could play the harmonica in rehearsals and I did it on stage and it was like wrong. It sounded like a dying cat. Every band starts out crap. No, we, no band never starts out brilliant, do they? Yeah, uh, but no, we were really, really shit. Like, I, I remember one night I was up on stage and I, I thought, I'm, I'm really getting into this. I'm going to rock out. I'm just dancing around on stage, getting into the music. And uh, I put the microphone down. I'm the speaker stack and I'm doing the big rock out thing and then I went to grab the mic and sing again and the mic was on the floor but I was just holding a stand and singing it looked like a complete tool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like because I know you're very uh, meticulous about the way you appear. Am I? Well, well I think you are <laughs> because I, I, did, I, I did find out this that as when you're a little boy uh, I found this out from your mother. That, uh, what are you doing talking to my mum still? <laughs> Don't you pay any attention to the restraining order? No, but uh, you know, I had to console her after that haircut you gave her. Now, um, <laughs> <laughs> she said when you were a little boy, every time you saw lightning, you stopped and smiled because you thought that was a camera flash. <laughs> Is that true? 
Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. Yes, I, well, apparently, according to her. Mum, mum was a model. She was Miss West Coast. And uh, so she was always doing photo shoots and stuff like that. And that where you grew up? You grew up on the West Coast? Yeah, oh, and, and then she moved over to Sydney and the North Shore with Dad, who became the first radio announcer at Today FM all those years ago. And uh, so they were sort of like, you know, in the limelight a lot. So you, you get used to f cameras flashing and you think you're getting a photo taken, but it was lightning. You get used to, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get used to cameras flashing all the time, yeah. <laughs> or just yourself flashing. You seem to be a bit prissy. Right. Um, I'm not wearing a tie or anything. You but, are. But no, I, you're, sort of. Come on, man. But, but, uh, but no I know. No one me to put makeup on. You've, you've got it packed on tonight. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Look at these bags. But I've only put this on for the show. I don't wear it every day. <laughs> Do you think I'll wear this to the shops? <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, but thank you. I really appreciate it. I know it. you live in Bondi now and you're an athlete. Now, did, did you win an award I'm down an there? I'm an athlete? Did you, didn't you win an award down there for like a, 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 a Mr. Beach Run or Mr. <laughs> Mr. Topless Shirt or... Um... Yeah, I was Australian Beach Sprint Champion when I was about 18. Okay. Uh, but it was kind of by default because I was there on the starting line against like some really big muscly dudes. Yeah. A couple of them were, uh, were Yanks and who just recently won the Australian title. You mean Americans? Yeah. <laughs> Can't I say Yanks? Don't uh, know. Sometimes I get Did touchy. I offend someone? No. Uh, you and anyway... Uh, you never no, know. You never know. They're Yanks. They're touchy. I was lucky to even make the... <laughs> I was lucky to even make the final, and uh, I'm, I'm there on the starting line. This is in Wollongong, about 1989, I think it was. And uh, a wave washed up over my lane. I was in lane eight, and it made all the soft sand hard. And they've said, go, and I'm like, yeah! Just absolutely leaving everyone behind, because they all had the soft sand, and I had the hard sand. Thank you, yeah. gold medal! Woo! It's kind of cheating, but hey, yeah. I won, who cares? We've run out of time. Look at that. Really? Again, this, this, oh, no. Why, what well, have you got to do? Uh, <laughs> Actually, yeah, you're right. There's, um, Surely we've got more things we can talk about. Oh, we do. We've got, we got heaps we can talk about, but probably nothing that could go to air. <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's go to the commercial break. We'll talk about that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Mike Goldman for his...